G'day and welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me for some more X Foundations. And uh, yeah, so I've been getting into this quite a bit since the latest update. I think we're at 5.1, maybe 5.0, anyway, whatever. Um, got all the DLC and started to get back into it and got my old save cracking and it loaded up and I've been having a lot of fun. But as you can see here, I have uh, been caught with my pants down. I have a builder uh, ship there with uh, very low shields and a station that's unfinished without its weapons um, getting its ass pummeled. So what do I do? Well, you see I've already taken some action. I've hopped in quickly with a basically a bunch of fighters there, some Cerberuses and Eclipses. Um, Cerberuses are Corvettes, yeah. And I am distracting. I am trying to buy time because I do have quite a large navy, but it's not here. It's uh, I'm in Hitikva's Choice One, and uh, I've got uh, one in Bright Promise, one in the Void, and uh, yeah, one in Grand Exchange One. So they're on the way, but yep. So now you can see I have managed to distract those heavy ships, and they are coming around. I figure I might as well pull them back to their buddies while my two. Um, uh, behemoths come up here and do some damage to that fighter squadron that is causing hell to uh, to the guys who'd be saving my ass if they weren't getting their asses kicked. So as you can see they are taking some fire and I'm probably gonna lose one of my eclipses coming along here. The, the uh, behemoths are taking their time getting there but they are slower destroyers, those guys, although they are heavily outmatched. Uh, I haven't really had time to get into it, but we have here an I uh, battleship, which is that large one coming in on the right, and just below that we have a K uh, above the uh, solar power plant, which is badly named, it's a uh, small battle station, is another K, and I do believe there is another one around somewhere. Well, you can't see it right here. There, I'm just planning more attacks for that fleet, give them something to do and I don't really want to lose these guys I'm gonna need every ship I can get my hands on as uh, as stuff comes in I don't want to throw it at the enemy it's gonna get destroyed what I want to do is buy enough time to get my heavy hitters in here and get a coordinated strike happening And as you can see, the skirmish is going on between the fighters here. My fighters have just made it to the pack and are starting to put some damage on the enemy. And thankfully, we have the K and the I slowly bringing them, uh, following up the rear of them there. But uh, it may seem like they're trapped. However, that's uh, okay at this point. I need them to distract the enemy. They are really there to... Uh, distract the enemy and I'm using them to apply damage where it is most effective. Anyway, yeah, I thought I'd just share this and uh, have a bit of fun. Uh, I do quite enjoy the fleet tactics here. Um, when you, you know, when you get caught short and you've got to improvise with what you've got to hand. Um, and one of my behemoths has uh, come in. And of course, yeah, I, I should have really redesignated the target to the I instead of the uh, K there. Um, however, now it has come in and right up next to that I. And uh, I'm quite afraid for its uh, future prospects. Although I commit it to the fight. And now yeah, we watch it die. The shields start to start to really take a hit, like three big hits there. And I'm telling it to flee. But she's not going to make it. So the first large casualty of the fight there. Unfortunately, uh, I'm going to put it down to the uh, the ship AI doing a stupid thing with it. Uh, me doing a stupid thing with it too. Um, so I sent it to the wrong target. But yeah, like the ship AI could probably have a little bit of situational awareness, uh, you know, maybe maybe try to stay out of range of the biggest enemy in, in the area. All right, now I'm checking the uh, location of my other fleets, and as you can see, they're a fair way away, still, still spread right out, although I'm going to have some action pretty soon with one of my Colossus fleets, fleets 176 there. That's uh, got a fair few heavy hitters in it. So that should help me swing this battle. All I have to do is hold the fort until until then. Now that behemoth came up way too close. 
and I've already uh, issued the evacuation order and um, to, to the fighter and uh, Corvette squadron and asked them to move back as uh, they were getting really beaten up and it's worth keeping them. And there he goes, a looming Corvette on the way past the eye. Always great in it, you know, love, love the old eyes, causing havoc. So now I've issued a, basically what would be a general retreat. I've bought the time. Let's get out of this quickly, get back to the map. Now I've bought the time. The shield is regenerated on the uh, build ship and the station is, uh, well, still there. I don't think it's got any repair drones left at this point. Uh, my goal here really is to try to keep a, the uh, build ship and the eye, I mean, and the, and the, uh, uh, the uh, battle station, but I don't think I'm going to manage that uh, at this point, and, and I know the end result. However, it does look pretty hopeful. We'll see how we go. Now that eye is following my ships back, so I've ordered the uh, Nomad, uh, the head of this fleet here, to move towards the secondary line of uh, stations. Um, there is a small uh, battle station there, but it's really not got the firepower required to take an eye out. Possibly, I can uh, combine the firepower of the uh, Xenon defense platform and the uh, behemoth, but the behemoth, uh, it just stops and that eye is getting closer. So I have to uh, quickly hop in and uh, yeah, grab the throttle stick and slap it forward because I need this ship. I need it alive. <laughs> so that's what I do when I go back to the map and just, yeah, it just cruises on forward and dragging that eye away from the fight. So we've isolated the eye. The K is dead. Um, at least one of the Ks is dead. I do actually, no, sorry. None of the Ks are dead. They're both up the top there in that top fight with the remaining uh, Argon uh, ships. But the eye is following me down. Now you can see I've got transports in here uh, moving around and they do all have fighter escorts, but at this point I'm not splitting them off. Um, I'm really, I'm really just buying time. The eye is a, the eye is a very slow ship and I can uh, hopefully get a fleet in system, a, uh, a large attack fleet in system before that eye makes it towards my ships. Now, unfortunately, the Nomad is recalling its, um, uh, recalling its subordinates. And uh, so I'm issuing a command to the subordinates to override that and get them just to go over there and get that thing moving. Cause I need that behind the line of defense that is the two stations there. Uh, those nomads are not combat ships, and I will just eat them for breakfast. It does look like the Argons just then have issued uh, commands for reinforcements to move up. That's only a singular ship. I'm not sure uh, that's really enough. Repair some of the battle damage to the ships and uh, give myself every chance I can get. As you can see, there's not many Argon craft left here to take out these two destroyers and uh, the one remaining destroyer of the Argons, which has just gone behind the uh, unit list, um, was uh, down to uh, a third health and a third shield. So it's not looking like it's in gray shape there. Checking on my inbound fleets. Here we are, Fleet 162. Not too far off, and we've got Fleet 176 a little bit further off. Now the support fleets, uh, command ships, and uh, well, the three, the three Nomad uh, support ships have moved behind the line 
and hopefully will not be destroyed. They'll just get popped pretty well. At this point, I'm like, oh no, I'm just going to lose this guy. He's, he's, this this uh, inbound freighter is going to be dead. And then, boom, we have Fleet 162 to the rescue. Now, I'm still not 100% sure about the... Uh, I hadn't actually reorganized this fleet either. I'm still not 100% sure about the... Um, the sort of level of AI com uh, uh, what is what I'm looking for? Competence with um, doing a coordinated attack. And here you'll notice a lot of my shields are suddenly dropping. Um, I don't think this is from uh, fire from the eye, uh, as the symbols are not waggling around like they do when they're under fire. I, I, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe they're using their boost, which is pretty annoying. Uh, and I want them to rush in and attack because uh, they're pretty well come together. Um, but I... Uh, don't want them to do it with such low shields. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to wait a moment on that one and reposition myself into the lead ship. So now I've issued the coordinate attack and I'm not getting the usual spread that should come up. I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, maybe the fleet's not enough in system to bother with coordinating attack, but I decide, you know, it's time to take control of this situation. Um, and, and it gives me a bit better response here, although I'm not sure what exactly it's planning to do with the uh, behemoth off to the uh, far right that it wants to put in position. So, manual selection time it is. Time to get into some nitty gritty and oh boy, I can't wait for those nemesis to get to work. Those are basically bombers, and they're going to do some good work to that uh, eye there, along with what I got here six behemoths and two colossus. It's unfortunate that those shields were hit. If I'd have had that extra, um, you know, immediate um, ability to attack, I probably would have been able to save my goddamn build ship. But here comes a destroyer. It's on the way. And that's not a good sign. This is not good. I don't have the uh, free ships right now to go and get that just don't have it issue a general attack order as well as all these other guys send them back into the fray you gotta clear this eye out now there's the Cerberus goes in early and gets completely wiped out and the fighter wings jump to action Not sure what he's doing going over there. So I'm just gonna have to issue some fresh orders. Like with the maneuverability and speed of these ships, it's often easier just to let the captain do it and issue the orders than uh, go and override them like I did earlier. Well, sometimes they just, you know, will do dumb shit like sit there and wait, wait to be, uh, you know, made dead by a much larger and much scarier ship. Now into the thick of the action here. Combined attack on that eye. I need to take that out and move, move up. It was a fresh K just came into the combat there, it does look like. I may have missed that earlier. You can see it moving across. Must have jumped into system. Oh, no, sorry, that may have just been a map glitch. The uh, station taking a beating in the distance there, as well as this poor freighter. And uh, that build ship about to die, not far off. Although I don't know if you can get a good view of it here. 
pumping it into that eye now. Fleet seems to have done fairly well, minimal losses. So push home the attack. I need this thing to die. I need it to die quick. I also need to probably get off this ship. I quickly reposition myself off that behemoth and over to the Command Colossus and then to the Ford Fighting Colossus. And the Colossus is, is, is uh, carriers. And there you go, there she's dead. She's blown up in the meantime, so that was the explosion warning was of the eye, not of the behemoth Bob's on, but best be safe, right? So the Colossus is a carrier, not so much of a combat fighter. Uh, I mean, you know, like a frontline ship, um, but it can hold its own and it's got some nice HP and a good shield. Uh, backed up with Behemoths there for that direct fire support and boom. So time to move on up and it looks like I'm too late for the poor, poor build ship that held on, took such abuse and finally has succumbed to that wretched K. And then it's buddies. All of them need to die now. General attack order. And clear out these peas. Make some uh, make some space. For the fighters to get to work on the on the uh, case as well. There's a number of damaged ships here too, and it's at this point that I'm kind of just going to accept a lot of the losses. If I can get a ship out, I'm going to try, but it's uh, it's really got to be pushed home. I, I've lost the build ship, and it's not a huge financial loss, but I, and I really don't want to lose the station, because that is a much bigger financial loss. It's a largely... Uh, constructed although for some reason I do believe that the game waits till last to buy all the weapons for it uh, um, I mean um, maybe not it's like it's maybe just how I built it I should have built a lot of the weapon platforms first and then built the ancillary stuff after but anyway so here we are on board an eclipse and we can see our nemesis as the fleet begins to engage the first K there are the behemoths laying in, as well as some of the smaller support ships. And I don't think I managed to keep many of those nemesis, the, uh, the bombers. I think only one survives this. So it's... Uh, they're a good, effective ship, but they have to be used from a distance. They're a standoff ship, and it's very difficult to aim them in standoff. So, you know, the AI doesn't really do that with them. They just go in, get pummeled, and, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Z and I have done something to the space-time continuum. There are glitches. And as, and as these three destroyers converge upon the two remaining Ks, They can't get free of each other to open up properly. Lay that firepower down there. Death must come quickly, or it will be knocking upon thy door. The airlock door. See the missiles coming in. Giving the pain, as well as I think what is some uh, close uh, support weaponry opening up now. Explosion one K down, one to go. And 
there must have been a fresh one. Like they must have been just bringing in extra Ks. It's, it seems like quite a concerted attack, this one. If I get the count right, we had one eye and four Ks plus the, the supporting uh, fleet of uh, Ps and Ms. It's not an inconsiderable amount of ships. Now I have local firepower supremacy. And these Ks are not long for this world. Thankfully. And that behemoth is not long for this world and needs to flee. And luckily, it's just going to get out of there just in time. MQM 725. Uh, have to remember that one. And give it a name. Comment down below, what should I call that behemoth? Finally, onwards, we're getting there. Although, there's a lot of damage spread around. And uh, then two quasars just f finally couldn't take enough and capitulated to the damage being thrown around. Need to get my fleet over there and save that station before it's completely destroyed. As you can see, it's getting the ass whooping. Luckily on those nomads, I will have a large supply of repair drones to drop off as long as the dock's working. Or it's going to be another build ship and rebuild job. It does appear that the cost of rebuilding after a, a destroyed space station is somewhat less than the cost of building it uh, from scratch. Although I'm not exactly sure how much by. Now the fleet moves in for the final kill of what is a reasonably long battle. Things in X tend to happen rather slowly, but the combat, it tends to be over within a few minutes. If that, and uh, this is this is one of those battles that's become quite drawn out. Had to buy myself some time. Had to get a fleet, get the get forces in sector, and work my way through the enemy. If uh, even if there was a little bit more combined effort by uh, by the uh, Xenos ships that were in system, I would have found myself in a bit more trouble. But it did seem like they just broke off into two fleets and isolating the eye allowed me to just, you know, make, make time because it's such a slow ship, draw it away and, and, uh, and keep it, keep that time ticking on out, spreading it out, spreading it out until I could get ships in and then just blow it up. Make delicious space debris of it. And that K is not long for this world as the fleet has lined up, bombarding the living buggy out of it. Boom. And that is that. With that K, we have defeated, repelled the Xenon from the space of the Argon and, and things are happening that are weird with those drones and, and we will ignore that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, uh, suggestions as to ta data tactics, uh, fleet combinations, fleet setup, anything like that, or you just want to talk about it, uh, comment down below, hit me up on the Discord. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you did like the video and want to see more of this, comment down below as well. I uh, really need some activity on this channel because yeah, YouTube's just like, new people? I don't need new people, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway. Thank you for watching, rock on, have fun out there, be safe, and I'll catch you next time.